The defense team got the day started with an argument to dismiss all charges. Leopold's attorney, Robert Bonsid, said, quote, misconduct as a crime is constitutionally vague and overly broad. But Judge Dennis Sweeney fought back, saying Leopold has an extraordinary political history with 11 elections under his belt, and so he should know the difference between right and wrong. Louis Bracey is watching the trial unfold. You can't use uh, county time and county taxpayers' money to have police officers standing by while you having sex. That's what that came out in the courtroom. The defense argued Leopold had bad judgment, but it doesn't amount to a crime. Something we don't hear often in the courtroom, laughter. When Bonsib said, quote, what if Mr. Leopold was a married man and decided he wanted to go home for a nooner with his wife? Several of Leopold's security officers testified that the executive had them drive to a bowling alley parking lot so he could have sex with a county employee. Earlier this week, Leopold's current chief Chief of staff said he campaigned for him in 2010 on county time. I don't believe that uh, some of those are going to stick. After three hours of arguments, Judge Sweeney dropped one count of misconduct involving theft of campaign signs, saying the state didn't present enough evidence. So now Leopold is charged with three counts of misconduct in office and one count of fraud for misusing county money.